God allows us to have money for a couple of reasons. Number one, to extend his kingdom. Yeah, that's what's very important. He came to this earth to offer the kingdom. Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. I want to give you something. Uh, the purpose of the church is simply to, it's found in Matthew chapter 28, verses 19 to 20. It says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and lo, I will be with you even unto the end of the age. Jesus says that the main purpose of the church is to make disciples. And part of that mission requires money. God blesses each one of you in this world for the purpose of being able to sow into the local church. Jesus instituted the local church for the church to carry out his purposes. And one of the reasons God gives you money, and that is to partner up with a local church and support that local church financially with your gifts, with your treasures, with your money. Here's the second reason why God allows you to have money. And that is simply this, to take care of your family. Yes, Jesus loves you so much that he wants you to take care of your family. Listen to this verse. First Timothy 5, eight says, if anyone does not provide for his relatives, especially for his immediate family, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Wow. That means if you don't take care of your family, you're worse than an unbeliever. You don't take care of your kids. The Bible says that you're worse than an infidel, worse than an unbeliever. So God wants you to have money so that way you can take care of your responsibilities. And then here's the third and final thing, and that is God desires you to have money. He gives you money for you to take care of the poor. First John uh, 3.17 says, if anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? God gives us discernment to help us to decide who to help, but there are people all around us who are legitimately in need, and it's our job as Christians to make sure that they can be taken care of. And this has to do with managing your money properly. When you're managing your money properly, you will have money to support the kingdom of God. Number two, you will have money to support your family when you're not living above your means. Why? Because you're managing your money properly. And then guess what? You still have a little bit more money to help out someone who is in need. When you manage your money properly, do things God's way, everything else falls into the line. If you agree with this word, type in amen. Uh, give me a thumbs up in the comments box. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button, like, comment, subscribe, and you all be blessed.